not taking away the rich when they get the free stuff. No, 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 no. See, Chris Christie, you know, he is another famous free stuff taker and giveth away of taxpayers' money to his rich crony friends. That's correct. But that's not a problem. No. When they talk about free stuff, it has to do with the poor and the middle class. That's correct. <clears throat> That's correct. Who happen to be the backbone of uh, uh, the economy and the true consumers. And uh, why do we have poor in this country? The richest country <sighs> in the world well, that has ever existed because, on planet because Earth. Because the jobs are outsourced, number one. Well, that's my point. The jobs are not here. Oh yeah, they we mentioned have poor. They mentioned the corporations in America being the job creators again. That more of trickle course, down yes. bullshit. Yes, yes, of course. The job creators. <laughs> anyway, being that I, I that's am why ninety-seven million Americans are out of jobs today. Yeah, uh, all uh, these big jobs being created. Being that I'm playing, uh, uh, I am a re I am a demonic Republican this Halloween two thousand. <laughs> Halloween 2015. I might as well put on the uh, evangelical serpent. I'm taking up serpents, you know, like the phony false prophet evangelical pastors. So we'll put we'll put on the evangelical serpent. All right, and uh, when my when I feel a little cooler, I'll put the mask back on. So anyway. Serpent disappeared. Norquist. That's the guy who made the uh, quote about shrinking the government well, so no, that it could be drowned. Well, Rand Paul must have said some things that in the bathtub that really t pissed me off because. Well, I'm sure he does. You know, I I, I thought he was a more of a moderate. He's Rand a libertarian. Paul. He's Bob, by the way. He sounded like a like a right wing libertarian. On fiscal issues, he's the same. It is on social issues that libertarians deviate from the strict Republican conservative. So they believe they believe that they it will allow abortion or these things. They believe that the haves sh should that it's okay for the haves not to give a fuck, give a shit about the have-nots. Correct. The, the haves should always have. His, the right-wing libertarian, as opposed to Jesse Ventura, who claims to be a left-wing libertarian. Fiscally, he would probably be the same, or was the same. Maybe that's why he ain't a libertarian anymore. Oh, Jesse? Yeah. He can't be a libertarian today. No, with those still, uh, still ideas. So then, a li so libertarians might might as well just call themselves Republicans. Then they do today. So they are in the Republican Party, but they bang <laughs> horns. They bang horns with the uh, the, the the base of the right. Republican Party on social issues, right. like uh, like the um, the green like the Reform Party was very similar to the Libertarians. The Reform Party. Now, the Green Party, which uh, <clears throat> Ralph Nader ran under, they and Grandpa, Grandpa Al Grandpa Al Lewis, Al. Grandpa Munster, they were part of the Green Party, and the Green Party people see they seemed like the Democrats of old, the way the Democrats used to be. They were, they are very progressive and and liberal, like the Democrats used to be you know, uh, uh, JFK and FDR. But anyway, <clears throat> let us sink our teeth. Oh, before we sink our teeth, <coughs> um, I was watching, uh, well, I was forced to watch it. It's a, it's oh. a new uh, Big Pharma drug company commercial. Uh -huh. uh, Bristol Myers Squibb. Not fried squid or, you know, or any, any you know, calamari. It's squib uh, with two Bs. Bristol Myers Squibb was advertising. Those are the levity belts. Advertising um, a new drug that stimulates the immune system to be used as an alternative to chemotherapy. I think it was New Lester called uh, 
uh, uh, Sedivo. I think it was it sounds something like Op Vivo. Huh? Op Vivo. Yeah, the word Devo was on the end. Anyway. Devo or Vivo? Yeah, it, it was um, immunostimulant drug. Uh -huh. yeah. And uh, then, of course, I heard the side effects at the end. Ah. And the side effect is... <laughs> listen to this. Death! The side effect <laughs> is possible uh, autoimmune response. Ugh. A dangerous autoimmune response which means the drug will may cause your body to attack itself mm -hmm. which can be fatal mm -hmm. that that was the negative side effect only one no i'm sure there Maybe are others we have a hundred or so i'm sure there are others yeah i was i was taught i was discussing that very subject with uh william h morrow about the side effects really turn you off they're yeah. they're, they're they scare the shit out of you <laughs> you know and uh so, but that's big pharma, you know. Uh, uh, they're not, not. Of course, they're not going to mention the tremendous amount of natural substances that uh, stimulate your immune system. Mm -hmm. They're not going to mention that because they can't put a patent on it. That's for sure. You know. So, uh, shame on you, Bristol Myers Squibb. You're in the Chisler's Hall of Shame, uh, but. All of Big Pharma belongs in a Chisler's Hall of Shame. Yeah. Now, being that we lost the segment last week yeah. for some unknown, unseen reason. CIA. I did a uh, Chisler's Hall of Shame concerning compact fluorescent light bulbs. Yeah. Um, normally, uh, when compact fluorescent bulbs came out, normally uh, I would get a few years, sometimes several years, out of them. <clears throat> Let's take putting putting one on the front porch outside, right? Now, all of a sudden, I put in a Sylvain. Uh, I'm sorry, a Sunbeam, compact fluorescent light, 60 watts of light, but not, I mean, equivalent 60 watts, but it uses much less electricity. After one week. Uh, no, after one month, it burnt out. Come For, on. Forget about a few years. It burnt out. Then I put a second new one in, the same one, because I, I bought a pack, and that lasted a week. Ah, oh, jeez. Come on. This is ridiculous. So now I put in a different brand altogether. But the point is, I've seen this progressively happen. Uh, the compact fluorescence... Uh, started to have built-in obsolescence. They started burning out just like an incandescent bulb mm. would burn out on you. So all you companies that make compact fluorescence, uh, and this is why I buy uh, LED lights now. You know, Chisler's Hall of Shame, Sunbeam, I've had Sunbeam appliances before. Like the toaster that toasted, ah. that toasted itself. Toasted itself, and yes. Mel and melted. Uh, yeah, literally. The whole, the whole top melted. The toaster that toasted itself. Uh, shame on you. Chis Chisler's Hall of Shame. Uh, and that's it. All right, let's sink our teeth into these readings. I mean, of course, last week I had the bulb in my hand. Uh, I was waving the very bulb around. You know where the bulb is now? In the garbage dump. In the garbage In, in, the, recy the, in the recycle. Uh, unless they recycled it. <clears throat> All right, we're going to look at Ask Marilyn here. Oh, you're going to start off with a light? Yeah, yeah. Well, all right, go ahead. Marilyn, why don't you run for president? Was she out of her mind? Who the fuck is this Marilyn that she, she should run? Because she answers all these questions. She's a very smart woman. A serious question. <laughs> so, I'll give a serious answer. I am not electable. She's a shrink, right? My principles are based on out attitudes that grow from ongoing going observation and thinking. These attitudes aren't democratic or republican. Smart woman. I wasn't raised either way. And for that reason alone, it would be virtually impossible 
to be nominated by either party. She's, she's not in favor of political parties, it's, it sounds. That's pretty smart, isn't it? Yes. Also, <clears throat> I don't... <coughs> I don't like to slant my messages to the audience that I'm addressing, even though my views aren't rigid. One who acquires political beliefs early in life and rarely changes any of them is incapable of learning from experience. Now you see the difference between your average two-party system politician and, let's say, Bernie Sanders? Bernie has been consistent ever since day one. Uh -huh. he, even when he was mayor of Burlington, Vermont, I think he was very similar to he, the way he is now. No flip-flopping with him. So, in my case, I'm not electable. <coughs> yeah, that's a good answer. <coughs> Very good answer. Excellent answer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the article, uh, conservative tapped to be state treasurer. <laughs> I don't want to read that. What am I doing with this then? Or maybe I maybe you were you were a tad what bit. What the hell is this? This is a wrong you, thing, maybe man. Maybe you were a tad bit scissor happy. Well, somebody was in. Eh? Because this is crap. This, there's, there's nothing this is not applicable at all. Applicable to the show. Apple lickable. Yeah. Alright, let's take one of these. Democrat. Oh, go ahead. Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders called Thursday for an end to the death penalty. Well, I don't know. Those those two punks that are, approach this this white man mugging him in Philadelphia and he pleaded for his life and they shot him dead anyway. I don't know, man. They, they, Do you know that that's I, true? They, Do you know that it's accurate? Where they had a fair trial, where all the evidence was in, and etc. Because there were many people on death row. That's what I heard. He, that they, were innocent. They c killed the man in cold blood. No, no, you can't say I heard and then make a political judgment on that. You have to be tried. You have to be accurate. You have to be tried, yeah. Well, no, a lot of people in the old days were tried, but they were innocent. Yeah, well, that's not good. Like Jim Crow laws and et cetera, like, you know, lynching uh, black people just because they're black. Yeah, you well, know, man they, makes mistakes. Well, look at what they did with the O.J. Simpson trial. They changed the complexion of the jury. They changed the complexion of the glove. It didn't fit. That's what happened with the OJ trial. The man was guilty of sin. But he couldn't put the glove on. He, he did a, a red fox for Sanford and Son. Arthritis. He so also, you remember, he talked about his arthritis. Hey, that's the case that, that's the case that made the Kardashians famous. Because, right, old man Kardashian was one of uh, O.J. Simpson's lawyers, I believe. Never. I don't yeah. know. I'm not that, you know, far up on yeah, anyway, the Yeah, anyway, anyway, fair trial. Uh, 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 That's uh, correct. They must be proven guilty beyond a shadow of a doubt. They're, yes, they're entitled to a fair trial. And under politics, you can't have that. Because as Marilyn just said, if you grow up in a one way, politics wise, you don't change. So then everything that you see, hear, and do is according to your politics. Okay? In other words, you, you, you cannot be a biased judge or a biased jury. Yeah, but everybody is. That's the point. Well, the, I got turned down for jury duty because uh, it was. Um, in a, a former employee versus the corporation. Uh -huh. uh, it was uh, they were denying his uh, workman's uh, comp. Comp compensation case, and he got hurt on a job. And uh, you know, I told him, I says, to be honest with you, I, I favor the, uh, the the little guy over the corporation. So I mean, uh, uh, 
uh, I says I'm not going to be partial to the company and when the judge heard that I'm not going to be partial well, the judge heard because the defense lawyer he wasn't like that no they were all they were all clustered around the desk even the judge interviewing everybody and, and when he interviewed me I says I'm I'm not going to show partiality a bias in favor of the of the corporation mm -hmm. I was dismissed so I guess they yeah. wanted me to show bias and favor uh, favoritism yes of course for the corporation but I'm saying uh, the defense lawyer would have liked you on the jury. Apparently, I guess he was uh, uh, it was out, overruled. He was out overruled by Whatever, the majority. Yeah. 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 <laughs> A day after rival Hillary Clinton stopped short of saying the United States should end capital punishment, we are all shocked and disgusted by some of the horrific murders that we see in this country seemingly every week, said Bernie. It's true. An independent senator from Vermont. Yeah, it's like and that is precisely why we should abolish the death penalty. The United States has, is becoming one gigantic Dodge City. At a time of rampant violence and murder, the state should not be part of that process. Clinton's remark a day earlier to take a hard look at abolishing capital punishment gave Sanders an opening to distinguish himself from the former Secretary of State, who is the party's frontrunner in the battle for the Democratic presidential nomination. Oh, there's definitely differences between Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton, without a doubt. Sanders also called for reforming the criminal justice system which he said puts more people in jail than any other country on the face of the earth. Oh yeah, well we also have lots of privatized prisons for, for, for free slave labor. Ain't that capitalism at its best? That's real capitalism. Let's put those bastards to work, man. Well, I even had a little dispute with, with William Morrow. He says, let them earn their keep. I says, what do you mean their keep? <laughs> Their keep being in, uh, living in a little jail, getting uh, suboptimal food. Oh yeah, that's for sure. Uh, having a jail cell roof over your head. You know they have done studies. Earn their of, keep. Uh, taking the sugar out from uh, prisons and stuff, like, which changes them. Their violence, their tendency towards violence. It does work. Well, look what it does. Look what but, sugar does to children. Yeah, and the same thing. And then they give the kids Ritalin, right? Yeah. What is it? Uh, attention deficit disorder hyperactivity? Yeah. Right? It's the sugar. Yeah. yeah. But it isn't, uh, it hasn't been uh, instituted within the system. Right. But oh, ketchup as a vegetable under Ronald Reagan, they tried to get in there, didn't they? Listen. It's just a sneaky legal way to bring back slavery. The privatized prisons, correct? Load them up with uh, miscellaneous uh, so-called crimes that are not real crimes. You know, like b bullshit. M the biggest bullshit would be marijuana. Uh huh. But uh, you see I, what Christie say about that, don't you? Well, the re Republicans, for some reason have a problem with uh, two victimless, frivolous crimes. They have a problem with prostitution and marijuana. They had a problem with uh, a booze, with alcohol, uh, back during yeah. Prohibition. They're the, 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 the right-wing uh, religious nuts were the ones, right, that started... Uh, got the law passed. They got the law passed. And they probably put out that stupid video, Reefer Madness, Reefer Madness. later on. Anyway, I didn't introduce my uh, partner over here because we got so caught up. Uh, I want to introduce the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling this week, sir? Energetic. Yeah, I'm energetic, all what right? I'm energetic because I love autumn and I love Halloween, but uh, I'm waiting for this medicine to kick in, man. Well, it ain't kicking in. It's, it's not well kicking over. in that good. Yeah. I want to say uh, greetings. Excuse me. Greetings to my near dear friend, 
from Osaka, Japan, a Mihoto. And, um, okay, I'll continue. A criminal record stays with a person for his or her entire life until the day he or she dies, <coughs> Sanders said. If a person has a criminal record, it will be much harder for that person later in life to get a job. Many employers simply will not hire somebody with a criminal record. A criminal record destroys lives. Clinton says she thinks there are certain egregious cases in which the death penalty should be considered. Well, but I'd like to see those be very limited and rare. Bernie Sanders sounded like he had sympathy for people that go to prison for murdering, and uh, honestly, uh, I have to side with the victim and the victim's family. I, I think restitution should be carried out, but it must be proven without a shadow of a doubt in a court of law. That's my take on it. In an on kangaroo court of law. In, a, in, a, in an honest... Which we do not have. In an honest, impartial, un, non-kangaroo court of law, yes. But which we do not have. Well, not when you have Republicans in charge of the country. Because we do not have any Solomons anymore. Uh, you know the famous case of Solomon in the Bible, don't you? They, they were drawing lots? No. I mean, uh, sticks, whatever? There was a mother who oh. had a baby. Oh, okay, I remember this now. Okay. And her, whatever she was to her, the, uh, another woman claimed that the baby was hers. So they brought the case before Solomon. And Solomon, in his great wisdom, because God gave him wisdom. Yeah. He asked for wisdom, and God gave him well, wisdom. Well, Solomon and his son and his father, David, they were no angels. <laughs> David was not an angel. No, and I mean, they, did not become, they were not yeah. what you will call godly people. I mean, they were, but not... David did a lot of killing. Yeah, they were nice, okay. nice guys, what I'm trying to say. So, Solomon had to build a temple because he was a little more innocent than his father. Right. But the point is that when they brought the case before Solomon, he said, all right, let's cut the baby in half, and you can have one, and you can have the other. Well, the real mother said, no, no, let her have it. And then Solomon knew who the baby belonged to, the real mother. Well, naturally, if you cut the baby in half, it dies, and nobody would get the baby. But I, I get your drift. Okay, fine. Um, you, you, were you in the middle of something or no? No, we don't have the time for Oh, we're going to cut for lunch. Begin. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a lunch break, and now we will be joined by How to Defeat a Conservative... Uh, Bible verses, just click pause and read, and also uh, we'll, we will hear from our voiceover artist, uh, William Hamilton Morrow III, for promo. And we'll be back for the balance of the show. Happy All Hallows' Eve 2015. Now we'll be back. God willing.